The U.S. Food and Drug Administration just announced a huge change to all tobacco brands that could affect everyone in the Roll Your Own community. Hi folks, this is Brian with another Windy City Cigars video. And today we're going to discuss a major change that's happening in the Roll Your Own community. What is that change? All Roll Your Own tobacco brands will now wind up having to change to shag cut tobacco. Very similar to this. Now for many years ribbon cut tobacco has been basically the go-to tobacco for pipes and the Roll Your Own community. But the Federal Food and Drug Administration has now made it mandatory for all tobacco brands to make the change to shag cut. Now some might wonder, what is the difference between ribbon cut and shag cut? I'm going to try to demonstrate here without making a complete mess of the place. Okay, first of all, ribbon cut is a bit thicker than the shag cut. The ribbon cut makes it burn well and consistently, and for the most part is pretty easy to load into a, a pipe or a cigarette. Shag cut, on this side, is a finer and more textured cut. It creates a more complex flavor profile, is a little slower burning when smoking, and that's why some smokers actually prefer it over the ribbon. Shag cut also allows you to pack your cigarettes a little bit more easily, which makes it good for uh, the Roll Your Own community. Let's try a, a test load of both ribbon and shag cut tobacco and see if there really is any difference. We've got a manual machine right here. We'll try it first with our standard ribbon cut. Again, the, the, the idea is not to jam as much tobacco as possible into the loading area. The tube's already on there. Okay, press down. Okay, one cigarette. Fairly easy to do. Get rid of all the uh, excess tobacco in there. Okay, now we take another tube, slide it easily onto the loading nozzle. Now the shag cut. Sprinkle a little bit in there. Tap down, again, not jamming it in, because that's an easy way to jam machine, regardless of, what tobacco, regardless of what tobacco you're using. And then we And there you have it. No, uh, no discernible difference from a manual machine, at least as far as I could tell. Now we'll try it with an electric machine to see if the ribbon versus the shag cut makes any difference there. And something I should have mentioned with a manual machine is that this man is not a professional, so do feel free to do this at home or try this at home. All right, first we'll try the ribbon cut. Sprinkle some of that in the loading chamber there. Again, not, a, not, not the opportunity to jam it in there, just enough to, to fill the cigarette tube. Place the tube on the, the nozzle. Push down the little lever and let the machine do the rest. Okay, one su cigarette suitable for smoking. Grab ourselves another tube here. Empty out the uh, ribbon cut tobacco. Make sure that's all cleared out. And take some shag. Again, sprinkle that in very nicely. Do not pack in too tightly, which you'll be able to determine by, uh, by basically by trial and error. Okay, now with the shag cut, again, tap in there, don't jam in. Put the uh, tube on the uh, cigarette spout. Press down the lever, now it's a little, got a little too much in there. That's better. Yep, no, it wasn't better. Okay, now we'll try the shag cut. Sprinkle a little bit in there. Remember, not too much. You don't want to jam the machine up. This will give you some ideas to... Yeah, it's a, it's a learning curve like anything else. Tap down lightly. Insert tube on spout. And push the little lever down. Again, one cigarette suitable for smoking. So basically, I don't notice any difference, primarily as far as loading the cigarettes, between the ribbon cut and the shag cut. Uh, 
you know, your, your results may vary because you guys are probably much better at it than I am, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, ribbon or shag, they both work very well in both manual and electric machines. So, as far as loading your cigarette tubes, I really didn't notice any major difference between the shag cut or the ribbon cut. So, you know, pick the one that you like. Uh, now, while you're rolling your cigarettes, a couple things to keep in mind. The term shag refers to the appearance of the tobacco, which resembles either a shaggy fabric or, uh, some say, a beard. Uh, it's believed the word shag comes from the old English word skega, which is derived from the North wor North tweet, Norse word uh, skeg, which means beard. Uh, another thing, interesting thing to know is the way a uh, shag cut is made. It's made by first pressing the tobacco and then cutting it into very, very fine slices, which gives you that, uh, that very fine shag look. Now, as usual, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and remember to hit that subscribe button. Thanks very much.